we can have we can have elves, we can have dragons, we can have dwarves, we can have hobbits, we can have dudes turning into bears, we can have a big ass eyeball shooting lasers and you know and blowing up castles. But the moment we get a black elf, that's when you lose your shit. That's when you're saying, <laughs> well, wait a minute. That's not realistic. If we're talking about a a, a, a character, you know, a, a popular character, and we're just changing the race or the gender or the sexuality for no reason other than just to appease a certain group, okay, we might have a discussion then. Yep. You know, that that's fine. We can we can talk about that. But that's that's not the problem here, y'all. That's not the problem with th this new Lord of the Rings or any other kind of fantasy thing that's coming out. Hey everyone, the Double Toasted Live Tour is coming to an end with our final show in Dallas, Texas, February 18th at Viva's Lounge. I'm trying to get an after party spot for all you VIPs and super VIPs, so get your tickets now by going to x1entertainment.com and I'll see you soon. So this is from somebody named DT Listener. Thank you. Very nice name. Very straightforward. Very flattering. He says, hey, Corey and the DT crew. With the release of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power. Mm -hmm. And that's the one that's on, on, uh, on Amazon. Prime. Amazon Prime right there. As you see, the Prime. Amazon Arrow is in, <laughs> is, is in Middle Earth now. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Even even Middle Earth is getting Amazon packages now. <laughs> so, and little go little golems are taking it. <laughs> one but, day delivery. Yep. One delivery to rule them all. <laughs> but <Fucking> people. <laughs> <laughs> he says uh, uh, there are comments that are about non-white characters in Euro fantasy settings. Mm -hmm. I will admit that it took me a second to get used to this in his dark materials and. Witcher. Mm -hmm. On one hand, if the fictional society thinks of themselves as a homogeneous society mm -hmm. with a strong sense of group and national identity, mm -hmm. example, Japan, mm -hmm. then being multiracial could be jarring and suspend this. And, and it, will, it will, it will, I'm going to, he missed some words here, but yeah, yeah, yeah. he says it will ruin the suspension of disbelief. But on the oh. other hand, we have Game of Thrones where each region has a defined look, accent, and culture, even though the actors themselves are from different races. I think that this is the right thing to do, but it only works if your casting, makeup, and set design are above par. How do you feel? Well, first of all, folks, woo, so That's if you haven't question. seen this yet, we're talking about the Lord of the Rings prequel, not the one that, you, not the Peter Jackson one, but the prequel that Amazon has spent billions of dollars on. Haven't you ever wondered? So you get the idea right there. As you can see, just by some of the shots right here, that they are going for a more multicultural approach mm -hmm. with uh, Lord of the Rings, which will probably be the first time that we have seen it on this scale right here. Now, I, I want to get you guys' opinions right here. I want definitely want to hear what you have to say. But this is a real, this is a, this is kind of a interesting subject with me. It's almost a sore point with me. Can I go first? Or no, you cannot. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> sorry. No, you cannot. Just hold tight. Don't get, don't get antsy and anxious. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Listen, y'all. Uh, I don't like this expression that I'm about to say because mm -hmm. it's so dismissive. Uh, it's a way to just shut down any discussion that might be productive. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna make I'm gonna make an exception here. Get the f over it. You know, for real, y'all. I mean, seriously, I don't I don't understand this, man. You you know, people, y'all y'all know the Lord of the Rings is not real, right? Mm -hmm. This is the one ring. Forged by the Dark Lord Saro. You do know that this is all a made-up land. You know, you know you can't go to a jewelry store and buy the, the, the ring of invisibility. You know all of this is is fake. That's why they call it fantasy. You know, that's <laughs> it's, it, people, I don't I don't know what's bothering I, well, I actually do, but that's what I'm gonna cover right here. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not talking about, you know, when you look at these movies. Whether it be Lord of the Rings or any other traditional fantasy type 
uh, property. We're not talking about real geographical locations. You know, we, we ain't talking about Scandinavia mm-hmm. with its own real history and population. You know, we're not, we're not talking about any of these things. You know, we're talking about elves, hobbits, dwarves, mm-hmm. imaginary shit. You know, we, we, can have, we can have elves, we can have dragons, we can have dwarves, we can have hobbits, we can have dudes turning into bears, we can have a big ass eyeball shooting lasers and, you know, and blowing up castles. But the moment we get a black elf, that's when you lose your shit. That's when you're saying, <laughs> well, wait a minute. That's not realistic. Bitch, none of this is realistic. <laughs> Do you hear what I'm saying? Uh? Yeah, no, yeah. I understand what you're talking about. The overall arcing of, yeah, that the, it, you know, it's all silly until, you know, color or race is introduced to these things. Yep. Yeah, you, you, know, you know, if we're, listen, if we're talking about, if we're talking about a, 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 a character, you know, a, a popular character, and we're just changing the race or the gender or the sexuality for no reason other than just to appease a certain group. Okay, we might have a discussion then. Yep. You know, that that's fine. We can we can talk about that. But that's that's not the problem here, y'all. That's not the problem with th- this new Lord of the Rings or any other kind of fantasy thing that's coming out. The problem is is that people they're used to seeing a certain thing a certain way that's right. and they just don't like change. That's the short version of that right there. But you know, if I, to get, if I was to get into the uh, long version of this, the uh, thing is traditional, f- tr- traditional fantasy, you know, elves, fairies, dwarves, knights, fair maidens, you know, they've always been seen as in, mostly, and to some people exclusively, as a white thing. And there's reasons hmm. why I understand, it's, I'm not saying it's right, but there's many reasons why. And this is why I want to get into, and I'm going to pass it on to you guys. I really want to hear your opinions on whether you agree or not. You know, uh, and if you don't, that's cool. I'm not, you know, I, I, I welcome the differences of opinion here. <laughs> All right. So I understand with traditional fantasy why it has been seen as sort of, you know, a, a big Caucasian thing right mm-hmm. here. And that's because it's always been seen as sort of a European thing. That's right. You know, uh, thanks, to, thanks to the many visuals of the middle ages you know where you had knighthoods and jousting and crusades you know and also people weren't the most educated back then so right. they were very superstitious they believed in magic they believed in witchcraft they thought monsters and dragons and and, and beowulf and werewolves in the forest so you know all of this mm-hmm. stuff had lended itself to fantasy so ten, so you know so we have a tendency to associate fantasy uh with this historic, you know, reality right here, Mm -hmm. which geographically was very Caucasian, at least, you know, according to the ones that wrote the historic narrative at the time. Okay. Because, you know, I mean, if you look at other things, there were Moors and stuff like that that came in. But Exactly. But it wasn't completely 100 percent white because you had uh, a lot of shades of brown. At that point in the Middle Ages, Spain was primarily, uh, primarily just brown and black, to be honest, you know, so. Black people and brown people have been in the Middle Ages since the beginning. They have not gone anywhere. It's a very good point. Since the Middle Ages. Yes, since the Middle Ages. <laughs> exactly. We, we went medieval on people. That <laughs> they have always yeah. been there. We have paintings. Yeah. We have representation. We have yeah. art. Yeah, and that's why I said, according to the people who wrote history. Exactly. They're the cool. ones that put these images out there and pushed everybody out. But still, I get it. All right, whatever. It's because of this perception of the Middle Ages and being mixed up with, you know, this real history that has been very, whether it's just, whether it's accurate or been whitewashed, whatever you want to say, uh, people of color have not seen themselves. That's why you have not seen, that's why people of color and other groups have not seen themselves in fantasy. Again, whether whether it be Lord of the Rings or anything else, man. What's up? If I tell you uh, Roman and Greek statues, what's the first color that comes to mind? Yeah, you start, well, the, the statues are pure white. Exactly. So, yeah. They're pure white. So you, as, you assume those cultures are pure white, right? Yeah. Well, if I tell you those statues originally were black and extremely colorful? I believe it. Exactly. Yeah, I believe and it. Now that I, we know, we know today. And that's what we know today. But see, see we are pushed, we have been such a big part of so many parts of history, but we've been pushed out of it. That's right. And, 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 and history has been rewritten, whitewashed, lied. And so throughout the years, 
I can tell look, I can't speak for every group out there, but I can tell you from a black perspective, we we we've, we've either been pushed out of things, I had shit taken from us to the point we're just like, well, f it, just take it. You know, we'll create something new. <laughs> we'll just do something <laughs> else. I know for black people it was a, it was something of like, well, you know what? We can we can definitely go watch fantasy. We can definitely love it, mm -hmm. but we're still an outsider. You know, this is a world that when that this just doesn't accept us. Even it's, though, it's, it's white people shit. It, it's white people shit. <laughs> even though if you look from the European historical, you you're always been there. Yeah, it's been there. No, know? but you know, but the thing is, they train us to think like they train us to take to turn our own shit, man. Like rock and roll was our thing. They trained, you know, we we conditioned later to think, man, that's white shit. Mm -hmm. Even jazz, you know, there's certain people out there now who think like, well, jazz is white shit. That, that's the, I, that is the furthest from the truth. And fantasy is one of those things, too, where, you know, we probably played a part in, you know, in, uh, in real medieval or middle, uh, uh, middle ages history. But, you know, now we're, we're conditioned to think like, well, fantasy is meant to, that's white people shit. We don't do that. Everybody becomes conditioned to think that way. You know, it's not just us. Everybody thinks that, you know, once they see a certain thing with certain people, uh, uh, portrayed is like that's just the way it is nobody thinks that things can change some people hate change some people think you can't change they merely can't wrap wrap their minds around it you know and, and listen to be fair i'm gonna be fair here because uh you know i tell you uh and that's what i was talking about with people taking our stuff appropriation man mm -hmm. you know we haven't been able to you know his here's here's another thing why and this plays deep into uh like lord of the rings and all that kind of stuff because you know, my third point here is that appropriation plays a big part because historically we, okay, so we are pushed out of stuff. Yes. Other groups are pushed out of stuff. But historically, and, and this is nothing against, I don't want, when I say white people, I don't want everybody to think I'm talking about everybody. I'm, this is not an attack. I'm saying this, uh, you know, in, in, in the most fair way I can. I'll say s certain white people, all right? But white people have historically, they've always been given access to other people's cultures. That's right. To, to, and you know we're talking about we're talking about fantasy where people don't even want us to be in make believe worlds. But somebody <laughs> like we have people, actual racist people, who were able to play actual real life figures, and that's just the way it was because Caucasians were given access to anybody's culture. I God damn, that's man. John Wayne. Yo, that's John you, Wayne. That's Genghis Khan, man. I did not expect that one. You pulled that one on magic. Bravo, bro. John Wayne, yeah, and John Wayne was a bitch. All right, yep. John. Don't, mm. I don't give a f how many people love the Duke. I don't care how much you fall for his his Duke. his 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 history. <laughs> John Wayne, first of all, he was a f coward. All this shit he played on uh, in movies and television, this mm. cowboy image. That mother f turned on his friends so quick doing the uh, the Red Scare. The, the Red scare. He right. ratted people out. He was a bitch, and he was a f racist. If you don't believe me, go read his Playboy article. Where he just said, you know, white people, I mean, black people should not be able to do certain things because they're not as smart. And yet, and look at him, he's playing a f Asian right there. Probably don't even like Asians. And I'm not saying that others haven't done it because, I, you know, I got to point the fingers at ourselves, too. Because some people, you know, it's funny how the lower the cultures are in the totem pole or whatever, or, you know, they're not noticed as well. People can get away with stealing that shit. <laughs> that's a jam right there. That's Apache by man, man. by the Sugar Hill Gang. Hey, but man. you can't you can't do that shit today. <laughs> with them nah. fucking like yams, yo. Mm. <laughs> jump on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. Yeah, that's a jam. But you can't dress like that and do that shit. You probably can make that song. <laughs> you remember that shit, Oz? In movies, books, comics. Uh, if it, you know, if it, it was not, if it was seen as a certain way, it was not cool for certain groups to, in the eyes of some people, invade that. Yeah. And, and you know, and that's just, that's just how it is, man. I mean, and people got to get, that's why I say, get the fuck over it. All this stuff is make-believe. You know, we're not changing real history. These are imaginary worlds. So if you get a, you know, if you get a, you get a gay dwarf, you know, you get, <laughs> you get a, you get a female knight or you get a, you get a black elf, then Get over it, man. It's just the way things are going, and people do want to see themselves included. And I had an argument. One guy with, with, who was online with me one day, he said, he said to me, he said, uh, uh, I said, man, you know, I love to see everybody see represented in something. That's just how it has to go at this point. You That's know, right. it's just, we can't continue to do this. Oh, I hate, 
I hate a, a one-sided black pride. I'm like, how the fuck is that one-sided, you stupid ass? And another thing, you said, well, I don't, why do you want to see yourself and stuff anyway? I said, all right. I said, well, let's, <laughs> let's just take all the white people out of things. Let's change everybody into black lesbian transvestites and see how that works for you. You'd be the first bitch crying about it. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yeah, it comes down to, like, lastly, what I said. People just don't like change. Well, even beyond that, in the email, he specifically compares uh, the whole thing with Middle Earth, like actual fact and history. And yeah. it's not. It's not European history. <laughs> like, do you think, you know, Africans, you think Middle Eastern just stay there? They didn't migrate. They didn't move around the continent. No, they conquered Spain. They conquered most of Europe. They destroy Roman culture. <laughs> so what yeah, the they fuck? went on religious crusades. crusades and shit. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. like, yeah. And the thing is that he uses, and the thing that really worries me is that he compares this to Japan, but he compares this to the nationalism of Japan of World War II when Japan saw him saw themselves as a pure race, as a superior race. Yeah. And that's not about conservative, that's about supremacy, and that's wrong. Yeah. And that caused the Japanese greatly. You know what I mean? That's how we got that's how we go into the Holocaust. So never please never come here and just say this whole bullshit about conserving the culture and justifying this nationalism when in reality is just justifying this racism and this basis for a superior race. Yeah, but, but and, and doing it by trying to keep everything exactly. a certain look, including exactly. fantasy out there. Mm-hmm. Oz, you know what? I've talked enough. I just wanted to put that out there because I had these points I wanted to make, but Oz, please take the stage, man. Mm-hmm. Tell people what's up. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> when I first saw the uh, this trailer, I was like, shit, the way everybody's now trying to, you know, connect and, you know, connect universes and have <clears throat> things going to something else. I don't know how far back prequel this shit is but it's going to be jarring coming from this with all this diversity than going straight into lord of the rings that we know with peter jackson yeah. unless they're going to say it's a different reality or some bullshit like that we're not represented in these middle earth type things only now we're getting into that stuff you yeah. know with these newer shows coming out and yeah get over it we're here and you know everybody needs to be represented and we're at a point in time now people are actively making sure that everyone is represented. That's just the way it's going to go. And if you don't like it, too bad. That's what's fuck's going to happen. You know, it's all about optics at this point. So, you know, as that Lord of the Rings went, went, when did its thing, it was only your protagonists or your good guys were all mainly white people. That's right. You know what I mean? And who, and who were the villains? Everybody was pretty dark to me. Oh, yeah. That's, I mean, that was a thing in uh, fantasy. You know, dark creatures, black is seen as bad, yeah. you know. It's, Evil. Man, orcs, the orcs were the black people in the Peter yeah, Jackson movies, know, and, man. What's that? And, again, <laughs> and again, man, that was the whole optics on this whole, you know, Middle Earth, you know, fantasy, you know, take on things. Optically, you know, uh, optically and historically, you know, we were not represented the way we'd like to be. And the fact that they're, you know, almost going out their way to make sure that we're included is cool, you know, but just don't all, you know, just make sure it's natural. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That's that's the thing, too, because you don't you don't want to be looked at as, though, OK, we're just hopping on the bandwagon just to be down. Yeah. Either, you know what I mean? I mean, yeah. So, I, to give you an example of uh, of, of, what, of of what I'm saying, I know, like, uh, you know, it depends on what you're doing, uh, like. James Bond is turned into such an anthology type thing now Mm -hmm. that if you change the character now to a woman or a black person or an Asian, I I don't, we're at the point where now, well, that's not a big deal. Now, I know that Mm -hmm. uh, in Stephen King's book, um, The Gunslinger, the gunslinger was described a certain way. He was almost like a young Clint Eastwood, man. Cracker. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He been like redneck, but it's like described like a young Clint Eastwood in a way. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. And who they cast? Idris Elba. And I thought, well, you know what? Thanks for being open minded and doing it. But I could see people who were like, wow, I was expecting to see an actual gunslinger reminiscent of Clint Eastwood. And I could see the argument made there because he's clearly described as a, as in a, you know in a certain physique in the in the novels. So, you know, mm-hmm. I understand that. I'm not going to always just say, I, you know, change everything because diversity. You know, I'm not saying that. Yeah, yeah no, it's it's funny because I, I had a conversation with uh, another buddy of mine. And I was like, hey, man, I'm all good with, you know, swapping races with certain things. But certain things like, you know what? 
I want to keep him white for a while. Keep a Batman <laughs> yeah. white, keep a Superman white. I'm cool with that. Yeah. You ain't got to change those people. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm kind of cool with Batman being white right now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they have a black Superman. You know, if, if, yeah, it, yeah. if it works, it works. I, I mean, I, again, yeah. just don't change things just to change it, I think. If you right. find a good way right. to do it, then do it. Or if the time enough has passed, that you know, a natural change is, uh, is due, mm -hmm. then that's fine. I don't, you know, yeah. I'm not totally like change everything because I'll no, exactly. you know, make me happy. Exactly, exactly. I like that they did with the, uh, what's his name, uh, um, Nick Fury. I thought that was cool. Yeah. That swap yeah. was cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it worked. What were you going to say? You, you know, trying to say something. I'm sorry. Two, even the, oh. Go ahead. Go ahead, Alice. No, I'm going to say even, what's the name? Uh, even the Miles Morales character. I'm cool that they brought him in, too. It's just a different yeah. yeah. Spider-Man. So I'm like, okay, they made that into something. At first, like, oh, come on, what are we doing here? We seem like we're shoehorning this in. But as time went on, you see different stories that they're telling. Okay, he has carved his own uh, uh, niche into being a Spider Man. So I'm, gonna, I'm cool with that. Yeah, you know I'm I mean? going to tell you before Oz says anything, I mean, for uh, Carlos says anything, I'm going to tell y'all something, man. Um, everybody was talking about Idris Elba as the next James Bond. I'd be. I'd be perfectly fine with that, but my, I tell you who I was one. I was down mm -hmm. with the Asian James Bond, Henry Golding. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, right. Holy shit, that would work, man. T tell me that, yeah. That, tell me yeah. that would that, work. That is beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Damn, I'm calm your ass down, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Damn, son. I'm, I'm, my bad, yo. It's just, it's Zip really, your pants up, man. It's, it's yeah, really sheesh. Add them to your spank tank, man. Later. <laughs> Are Tarkin's writing racist by nature? And I, to a certain point, I believe so. Are what? Racist. It's, it's the oh, Lord of the Rings. Who is racist? What are you saying? Talkings. Oh. Uh, the writer of the Lord of the Rings. Oh, Tolkien. Tolkien. Oh, Sorry, okay, Tolkien. Got you. Tolkien. J.R. Tolkien. J.R. Tolkien. Yeah, Tolkien. Tolkien. Tolkien, God damn Tolkien. it. Tolkien, God damn it. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> you're, talking about, you're talking about new new movies with sound. Talkies. <laughs> <laughs> Talkies. No, so it's been always contested if his writings have been biased or racist, and it's always been a subject of debate, you know? But for mm. me, it always comes down to when you analyze the history of the orcs in Middle Earth, they're the elf. The elf, the white pretty bitches. That got corrupted <laughs> by the ring of power, and they turned black, and they turned white. Brown. <laughs> there you go. So when when you yeah, look it at it, it's really hard to not look at that view, especially knowing that this is a dude from Oxford, this is a dude from Great Britain that fought in World War One. That it's it's not hard to see that he might have certain opinions like Lovecraft. We might not have it in writing like Love, Lovecraft, but the relation oh, yeah. can still be there, oh, yeah. you know? No, and this right. is how it was yeah. in the time. You know, darker characters were always seen as sidekicks, yep. even if they're other creatures. Like, these are the Negroes of, of, of Middle Earth, yeah, J.R.R. Tolkien's world. <laughs> I read, uh, read H.P. Lovecraft. You can't get no more racist than H.P. Lovecraft. I love yeah. Lovecraft. Yeah, yeah. He's racist. And if you, there's no, there's no, no there's he no. He wrote a poem about black people being the N word. Dude, you come know? on. His dog. <laughs> What's the name of his dog? Oh, I, I can't, <laughs> can't say it. But well, you know, Jeez. I mean, this has been a good discussion, people. These, you know, these. Uh, damn, I just now noticed. What's up? Shit. Uh, Harvey Weinstein does like an orc. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. He might look like a goblin. There's a difference. Okay. Which one? Whichever one's worse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. They say Elijah Woods as an orc in Lord of the Rings was designed to look like Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Damn. Even because it was by Jesus. Eli Cinema. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Har Harvey Orkstein. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my precious. Well, that was a good discussion, y'all. I just wanted to put that out there because these. these these discussions they piss me off on a basic level, but they are a little deep, a little more detailed and deeper. Uh, you know, when you actually get deeper with them. So, hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts, while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. 